Welcome to the Eric Abbasar Show. St. John's men's basketball played its first game of the season at Madison Square Garden today, and it was the type of game that the Johnnies would have lost last season. They went one of 14 from the field to end the game, and yet somehow, some way, the Johnnies managed to pull out a thriller, beating West Virginia 70 to 68. What an exciting finish it was. The defining moment of the game, in my opinion, was Rashim Dunn's steal. It was a very risky play he made on the ball, but it paid off in a big way. And of course, he is the hero for this win because he sunk the game-winning free throws. So have a day done. So happy he ended up getting cleared to play, albeit a little bit later than expected. This team really has a new dimension when Rashim Dunn is on the floor. And, you know, head coach Iron Mike Anderson said before the game that turnovers would likely dictate the outcome of this matchup. He was right. West Virginia had 22 turnovers, while St. John's, by comparison, only had 14. So that eight turnover difference uh, was huge. And, of course, the Johnnies did a great job of scoring off of those turnovers. And when it came to scoring, LJ Figueroa predictably led the way with 17 points. That and one jump shot he made when he was hacked so hard and still got the swish, I mean, wow, that was magical. Figueroa and Mustafa Heron are both NBA prospects, even if neither played at their very best today. Of course, for Figueroa, it was about foul trouble. And when he got four fouls, Early in the second half, you could see how frustrated he was. And Figueroa got pretty upset with some of the officiating. And I think his grievances were legitimate because he was getting hacked left and right. West Virginia was fouling him frequently. The calls were not getting made. But it's still important for Figueroa to shake that off, keep pushing forward, and continue to lead this team. Because he is still the heartbeat of St. John's men's basketball. As he goes, so will this team. And, you know, Greg Williams, to his credit, did a great job of filling in for Figueroa defensively once LJ had to go to the bench. He really takes pride in his defense. Hopefully, his offensive game can catch up. And Nick Rutherford, look, he's not going to have that many double-digit scoring games, but he had 11 today, which was huge. But he will always be immensely valuable to St. John's because he plays such lockdown defense. You can tell he loves playing D, especially on ball defending at the top of the key. I mean, he is a terrific perimeter defender. The Johnnies will have to continue to focus on doing a better job of rebounding. After all, Jarrett Culver, or sorry, Derek Culver on West Virginia alone had 14 rebounds, but give credit to Josh Roberts and Julian uh, Champagny for cleaning up the glass. They had nine and seven rebounds respectively. And of course, this is St. John's biggest win of the season so far. West Virginia, probably not a tournament team, but still could be. From here on out, the Johnnies have to root for West Virginia because this is the first potential resume building win for St. John's in its hopes of reaching the postseason in year one under the amazing head coach that is Iron Mike Anderson. Thank you so much for tuning in and please subscribe to my channel.